Hello and welcome. My name is Daniel Wagner from SecretShortcuts.com and this session will talk you through signing up for Google AdWords. Now I'm pretty sure you've seen Google AdWords and what they do. Let me just show you an example. I'm going to put in AdWords, just an example here. And what you'll see that Google, who searches about 6 billion or more websites at the moment, will bring up sponsored links, like the two links you can see here, and it will also show you other sponsored links here on the right side, compared to what we call generic search results, which you see underneath here. Now, Google allows you to bid for advertising and bid for keywords. That means whatever you type in here, you can bid on. You can say to Google, if somebody puts certain keywords or key phrases in here, I want to make sure my ad appears, and if people click on me, click on that ad for example here then you pay Google a certain amount of money now to be able to do that we need to sign up for an AdWords account so let's go to Google AdWords so you can see Google actually advertised themselves here in position one or here is the generic link let's click on Google AdWords and start signing up for an account the first thing you do is just go to sign up now you can go for English UK, English US. At this point, that's only the language. But we are going to sign up for a US account. We're going to go for Standard Edition. And on the next section, we're actually going to talk about the target language, which will be English. On the target location, we're going to select Countries and Territories. Google allows you to do very regional advertising and you can also do some customized settings but let's get started we're gonna choose United Kingdom we're gonna choose Australia Canada and of course we're gonna choose the United States you can add uh, South Africa to it if you want uh, but literally these are the four main areas we're gonna target in our advertising Now Google has a very limited amount of key um, keys you're allowed to use in the advertising. So let's say my training was in, um, oh sorry, my advertising was in dog. So I can say best. Actually, Google doesn't allow you to use superlatives. So I can say train your dog now. Now, that's not a very good headline, but I'll I just show you the example. Learn the tricks of a professional. See, that's the end here. I only got 35 characters. Dog trainer and solve your dog's That's it. That's too many characters. Solve any problem. Okay. Google then asks you to put in a URL. We have a display URL, which is the one that is um, shown to your customer in Google. So, superdogtraining.com. This, by the way, has to be a domain. It has to be a valid domain. It has to be actually the same domain that you use down here in Google as what we call the destination URL. But obviously what you can do, you can have a specific sign-up page, for example. So you can have different ads going to different uh, URLs or different pages inside your web page. So you would, for example, have different keywords targeting through different ads and up different squeeze pages but let's just keep it simple for now let's say your index page or your root page is your landing page okay so here we are at the next stage choosing keywords all you have to do is literally put in keywords here so for example you put in dog training puppy training and so on and so on. Now there's lots and lots of things you can do with it, but let's just get going, get this ad up. If you want to have more help, you can just get Google to show you some 
uh, some related keywords. And Google is now looking. You can see here dog obedience training. You can just say, all right, I want to add that dog training collar, dog training equipment, and so on and so on. Now, once you've done that, you can say continue. And Google is now calculating traffic and pricing estimates for our ad. Just takes a few seconds. All right. Now here, important, we're going to choose the pricing account we want to pay in dollars. Stone set it up to um, to yeah, um, to UK pounds because it is better in dollars. It also would be cheaper. Set the daily budget. Start with maybe five dollars for the day. You can always later on um, rank it up, crank it up. Like uh, for me, I'm spending seventy to hundred pounds a day, but I know that I make more than that in my ClickBank affiliate account. Otherwise, uh, you can very quickly spend thousands of pounds on Google. Here you add a maximum cost per click, CPC. I just put in 10 cents for now. And let's just get Google to continue that. So here is my little ad. Train your dog. That's my selection. Here's my keywords. 10%, uh, sorry, 10 cents per click. Here's a couple of keywords. And here's now we're going to continue to sign up. All right, next stage is sign up. Let's complete that. If you already use a Google service like AdSense or Google Mail or Ad or any other Google services, then it's quite easy. You can say, I use my existing Google account. If you're not using these services, then you have to sign up here. So I assume for most of you, you don't. So I'm going to use one of my email addresses here which is yahoo.co.uk and here we're gonna use a password and here's our security that we have to put in so the Google can determine this has not been filled out by some computer so it now creates an AdWords account, which is very straightforward. And obviously what we have here, we have su successfully created an AdWords account. And all that's left now is literally we need to provide some payment details for Google. Google will have sent you a confirmation email. And as soon as you click on the confirmation, it will activate your account. And you will see this wonderful page, email address verified you have a Google AdWords account, which is fantastic. So you can literally start immediately to drive traffic to your website. Now, you can see here the warning box. We have not given Google a payment account, or we haven't really set up our billing details. So let's do that first. Click on Billing Preferences. Choose a country where you're located. For us, it's the UK. And here, very important, please, choose the US. Choose the US as a time zone. The main reason for that is when you start uh, doing um, statistics and you want to see how many people per day have uh, used certain words, you want to make sure that those changes refer to the clients we're dealing with in the U.S. I normally choose Mountain Time, which is like bang in the middle. And if you have a promotional code from GoDaddy or anywhere else, that's the moment to put it in. Click Continue. Say Credit Card as a billing preference. Agree to the terms and conditions. And then just put in your card details here. And then save and activate. That's all you have to do and you will have an active Google AdWords account.